We messed, we messed with the frequency and cut off the power. But to be safe, we should probably take out the antenna too. That way, they won't be able to communicate with anyone for a while. Leader! You're late. Did you get that emblem? Yes, here it is. Good work. Thank you, leader. But we do have two small problems. Actually, they're nothing that major. <laughs> Are you sure about that? One is that the Pokemon Rangers have made it up here. The other is that Raikou is standing right there. Uh, where is Ra Ah, there is right there. What have those numbskulls done? Dumb? <laughs> oh god, mind you, they are dumb, I suppose. <laughs> what are those numbskulls dumb? They brought Raikou right to us. Oh my, wow, okay. Wow, try to zap their leader there. It was nice of Raikou to break the antenna, but at this rate, it might be best to go. You must be the leader of the Pinchers! What have you been doing here? You're one step behind, Pokemon Ranger. Raikou broke your precious antenna. So you're controlling Raikou, huh? Oh please, I'm no Ranger. Actually, even a Ranger might have trouble controlling a legendary Pokemon. Well, as I said, I have already caught a Celebi and I... Pretty much control that, no problem at all. Uh, anyway, we we destroyed the wireless tower, so our work here is done. There's no reason for me to hang around, so ta-ta! Wait, tell us why you destroyed the wireless tower. I hate electromagnetic waves. Is that a good enough reason for you? If I were you, though, I'd be a little more concerned about the roaring Raikou next to me. Thanks for cleaning up, Pokemon Rangers. Ugh, and they've got away. I hate to let her get away, but we have to calm Raikou down first. Alright. How hard can it be? <laughs> Pichu, get away, it's too dangerous. Uh, I'm not entirely sure Raikou's up for a bit of a, uh, a concert right now. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, unfortunately, Pichu. Jono, as you can see, Raikou is a very formidable Pokemon. Use Poke Assist as much as possible. Alright then, if you feel like you are in danger, don't be reckless, run. Alright, I mean, it can't be that difficult, we're still pretty early in the game and... I've had tougher encounters before in uh, Shadows of Armia. Anyway, let's do this! Raikou! Legendary Pokemon Raikou attacked! Oh boy! Yes, we definitely need to use some... Pokey assists here, I think, so you know what? Conveniently, we have two Gligar. Oh, he just missed there. Unfortunate there. Uh, unlucky there, um, Gligar. Okay, Pichu actually wants to help regardless. I don't know how effective your ukulele is going to be. Uh, actually, it's very effective. Look at that! <laughs> okay, thanks very much for the help, uh, Pichu, that was very useful. Nice! There we go. That's the strike I wanted. Good job there, um, Gligar. So now we should be able to catch a Raikou fairly easily. Well, it is very fast. Okay, let's just wait. It's probably going to... Whoa! That's a lightning strike. Oops. Whoa. I was going to see if I can squeeze in one more there, but I think I might be pushing my luck a bit there. Oh, it's going to shock the floor. Let's just wait. Whoa! Okay, I took a bit of damage there. That's fine. We can get one in. That's fine. Just minor damage. Minor damage. We're all right. Ooh, okay. I suppose I, suppose I could use um, Gligar again. Nice! There we go. Why didn't I do that before? That was so much easier. <laughs> but yeah, I could definitely see... Yeah, 
now that I think about it, poke assists definitely are going to be a lot more useful and effective in this game compared to the previous two games, in my opinion. Because they seem to have, like, direct impact on the Pokemon. So, hopefully I should I should be using uh, poke assists more often now. Anyway, Raikou! It creates waves of electricity around it and launches thunderbolts to attack. There we go. That wasn't too difficult. I probably would have done that quicker. And probably with no damage taken if I uh, did that earlier. Also, what's it doing? The strange figure has been observed. Yeah, I just saw that. Please register the figure in the styler. Okay. Alright. I'm guessing I do this. Raikou's sign has been registered. Interesting. You conveyed your feelings of friendship to Raiko. There we go. No problem. What was that bright light just now? Jono, what's wrong? You're just staring off into space. I know, I'm just... It's just yeah, it's just weird. Did you see something in that light? I don't know, I saw something. What? You saw something that looked like a floating figure appear? Hmm, I didn't see anything. Are you sure it wasn't an optical illusion? Uh, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we've successfully calmed down Raiko. And we managed to liberate the wireless tower, which was our original goal. Just a shame we couldn't stop them from... Well, actually, it was Raiko that destroyed the antenna, but at least uh, we were able to stop them regardless and take back the tower. We were able to do it because of you. Ha ha ha. It's been many years since I've been able to see th say this. Mission clear. Oh, man. You don't hear... I bet you don't hear that... Uh, uh, that, that often in uh, the Oblivia region. Ooh, 50 Ranger points. I suppose I could do, you spend uh, some more points on some upgrades. I'll have someone look at the extent of the damage later. Let's go back first so nobody worries about us. That seems like a good idea, Rand. We're back! Good work, you two! We could see them fleeing from here. There was a bright light from the top, though. What happened? For some reason, Raikou appeared. It was very agitated, and when Jono calmed it with a capture, the area was sur surrounded in a bright light. Jono says that there was something like a figure in the sky. After the capture, you saw a figure in the sky? That is very, very interesting. Oh. <laughs> Burkhardt looks like still has a bit of electricity in him. Good work, Rand. Oh no, looks like he's lost his charge. <laughs> Burkhardt, what's the deal with those pinchers? I caught two that were that were the stuff that the, ugh. Why can't I speak all of a sudden? <laughs> I caught two that were the slowest trying to escape. I was just making an inquiry about the details of their story. Well now, shall we continue, pinchers? What did you want to accomplish by destroying the wireless tower? We've told you a million times already. We really don't know anything. Getting a little overconfident because I'm asking nicely, are we? I guess you want another little shock like before, huh? <laughs> no, anything but that. I swear, honest. We were only following our leader's orders. You two are really irritating. Who is your leader? What are you planning? Hey look! A flying pizza! Oh, come on now. Does it have onions? Now, run! Oh boy. Falling for that classic trick. Hey, wait! Get back here! Like pizza could fly. You tricked me! <laughs> I'll chase you to the end of the world! <laughs> Burkhart, wait! Leave them to the rangers. Leanne and Nima, go on ahead. John and I are going to chase after the pinchers. Ooh, excellent. We're going to chase down some pinchers. I like the sound of that. Alright, let's go after those two. Let's run. Oh, actually, first of all, let's save. 
<laughs> Seeing as we managed to successfully capture that Raikou, probably best to save, just in case. There we go. And, you know, let's just... Oh, hello, I just noticed. It's a, a holy rock. <laughs> in other words, uh, I'm guessing that a... Uh, was it? A shuckle. But, uh, let's ignore that for now. We've got some pinches to chase down the mountain. Uh, there's some Electri. Probably don't need them right now. Let's keep on running. I mean, they couldn't have gone that far, considering um, Burkhardt said um, <laughs> they were the two slowest uh, slowest pinchers that were running away, so <laughs> how hard can it be? A couple of Bonsly just hiding in the grass there. Let's go, 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 go. Ah, there they are. We've probably lost them by now. Yeah, that's what you think. Hiya. We can't get caught. Run. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Get back here, you annoying pinchers. Hang on, let's talk to you first. Ranger, I hear about you here and there. Huh, that's good to know. There was an oddish there. Uh, a couple of other Pokemon around here, but I'm not going to catch them right now. Let's just carry on. See if we can track down these uh, pinchers. Hey, a Piplup. And a Bidoof. Hey, oh, I haven't caught you yet. Hello once again. Sorry, let me catch my breath. I haven't run in ages and I'm not feeling too good. You're as white as a sheet. Take deep breaths. Deep breaths. Yeah, take deep breaths and get ready to turn around and possibly meet your doom. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you feeling alright? Well, actually, there were these terrible people and we barely escaped unharmed. That must have been really terrible. What were they like? One was a muscular older ranger. The other one was a fairly young ranger. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's right, they had a Pinchu with them too. Oh dear. <laughs> and then the penny dropped. <laughs> it's you! Oh, real funny! I'm worn out, but our only option is to run. <laughs> oh, that's just brilliant. Uh, you know what? Can we go in here? Nope, it's locked. Although, before we do, I'm just curious to see what's down here. Palapa, an ivy saw. A fisherman, hello! The sea around here has what they call the Oblivia Current. It's a strong one. It goes from the Western Sea, passing near Dolce Island to eventually uh, to eventually get here. I heard that we got this ranger washed up on Dolce Island recently. The Oblivia Current, of course, is what made it happen. Wait a sec. Are you that ranger? I was just going to say. Um, I think you're talking about me, aren't you, fisherman? Yes, that is me. Anyway, so we got an ivy saw. Actually, what Pokemon do I have with me? Oh, actually, I've already got a Pokemon that's cut. Well, I've not caught Pelipper, though, so you know what? Just to be on the safe side, let's just capture you. I'm going to guess you know something like Soak or something. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Nine loops. Oh, no cut. Okay, that's kind of surprising. Eh, oh, well, whatever. Must be a reason why two of those Pokemon were there, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to catch another one. Actually, I got three Pokemon that no cut, so never mind. These are the two that we were uh, we were just talking about. They followed us just the whole way here. I'm not the leader of your team, but of course I'll help you out. Just leave this to me. You two just flee. Okay, that's what we'll do then. Also, are you the same guy that we encountered right at the beginning of this uh, Let's Play? You, the young ranger. I thought you looked familiar from somewhere. You're the other ranger we saw falling, right? You're still alive? Yep, you can't get rid of me that easily. Even after falling all the way to the ocean from the clouds. I know. So you're the one who attacked them in the clouds. Where is Jono's partner, Summer? Sorry, can't tell you. Especially because you're a Pokemon Ranger. I know how good you Rangers really are. That's why I know to be careful not to leak any information to you. Hmm, he's smarter than quite a few other villains to say the least. That being said, 
I'll take pity on you and tell you just one thing. Summer, she's safe. Okay, I think I have an idea just what is happening. I can't believe you managed to catch a ranger. That stubborn ranger has even given me trouble. But no need to worry. A rope wound a smidgen on the tight side. And I'm kidding. We haven't done anything savage like that. The young ones are treating our guests with appropriate respect. Well now, there's important work to be done so I'll be going. But I'd like to give you a goodbye present. Oh, and what's that meant to be? Here, enjoy. Oh boy. Four volt orb. Okay, and they all self-destructed. Ah, oh, destroyed the bridge. I mean, we could probably jump that, right? I mean, we could technically just walk up on the uh, that railing there. Unfortunately, we weren't able to make them tell of, tell us their plans. But at least we know Summer's safe, if we could believe what he says. Oh, hello, Raiko. Hmm, interesting. Still, we can't cross the big Booker Bridge in its current state. So we can't get to Mitonga Island. For now, let's go back to my house and rethink our plans. Can't we just walk on top of that railing there? No? No? Really? Okay. Ah, oh dear. I mean, we could probably jump that, right? Right? Ah, I guess I'll have to turn back then. What do I know? <laughs> We're home! <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> you two must be tired. You look fairly disappointed. Yeah, it didn't quite go to plan, unfortunately. Plus we... Well, plus we've ended up coming to a broken bridge. When we were chasing the pinchers, we met another leader besides the one at the wireless tower. And he violently destroyed the big... Uh, big Booker Bridge that goes to Mitonga Island. That's terrible! They were trying to trap the rangers on this island then. The ocean current there is very fast so we can't go by ship. We could get a Pokemon's help, but lately I haven't seen any Star Raptor for some reason. Hmm, I guess the only thing left to do is to repair the big Booker bridge. I think I'll ask Booker to fix it. He did design it after all. I was going to say, it, if it's named after Booker, then surely he's the one to uh, turn to to repair that bridge. Do you mind if I ask a question? After you captured Raiko, you mentioned something about seeing a figure appear, right? Do you remember the shape? I couldn't see the figure in the light. How about you, Jono? Well, I think I remember. The figure is saved in the styler. Good to know. Really? Can you please show me the figure? It's like some some kind of emblem. There is something curious about this. I'll go do a little research on it. All right, you do that, Leanne. Because I'm curious to know to uh, find out more about this. Once Mom goes in the library, she won't come out for a while. I guess I have to make dinner. <laughs> Fair enough. Food and experiments are different, so please try to make something normal. <laughs> Rand, are you home? Oh, Burkhart here. Have you fully lost your charge yet? Hey, if it isn't buzzing Burkhart, what's the matter? Unfortunately, I'm no longer a walking battery. Uh, that's actually good to know because I kind of don't want uh, any more shocks from you, Burkhart. <laughs> I looked at the wireless tower after everyone left. Everything from the wiring to the antenna is a mess. It's going to take a really long time to fix. So even though we want to give this information to the Union, we can't. Because we can't communicate wirelessly. Right now, just gather whomever you can uh, whoever you can, and start working on repairs. I'll meet up with you with you soon too. Leave it to me, Rand. Jono, I'm going to go check out the situation at the wireless tower. I'd like you to ask Booker to repair the bridge. Nima, I'm going to the wireless tower. Please look after the house. <laughs> yeah, 
Look after the house. Don't set any more fires off, please. All right, I'll do that, Nima. Hopefully we'll figure out more about these uh, sort of emblem things after. But in the meantime, let's head back to uh, Kokona Village and... Um, get some help from Booker, if I can remember the way to go, that is. Also, there's probably going to be some quests um, to be found. Anyway, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah, have a nice little walk along the beach. There's Apache Rizu in the grass there. And here we are, back in Kokona Village. Let's go talk to Booker. Ah, perfect, he's home. Who is it? Oh, it's you. What do you need? Uh, long story short, Booker, we need you to repair your bridge. What? The big Booker Bridge? There's no time to waste. Whoa, okay. Gotta go fast. Man, I didn't know your uh, I didn't know your nickname was uh, Sonic there, Booker. <laughs> that bridge is one of the works my boss is really proud of. Hey, Jono. How has the ukulele been working since that time? Since I fixed it, has it stopped making sound? Or, on the other hand, maybe the sound got way too loud. Uh, how about I'll let Pichu demonstrate for you? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'd say it's working out pretty well, especially considering the amount of times Pichu wanted to uh, get in on some of those uh, capture assi assists there. The sound it makes is appropriately ukulele-ish. <laughs> okay, ukulele-ish, that's awesome. <laughs> but usually it should make a more sustained sound, shouldn't it? I'd like to adjust the ukulele a little bit, but if an amateur likes me adjusts it, do mice become me? Oh, sorry. Do right might become me, rather. Do might become me, or far might become Ray. Or even worse, so might become flat like a saw. Or T might become something sharp like a. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Honestly, Nick. <laughs> Honestly, Nick, once again, thinking about the worst thing that can happen. Think positive for once, Nick. <laughs> You'd leave this in the hands of a guy like me? Thank you, I'll do my best. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Just think positive, Nick, okay? Just think positive. Thanks for waiting. Come here, Pichu. I wanted to adjust the ukulele so it made a more sustained sound, making the music last longer. Ooh. That sounds good. It'll, I think it will help you with your capture even more than before. Now that sounds good. Oh, look at that! Nice tune there, Pichu! The music from the ukulele has become stronger, I can sense that. Nice! Good job then, Nick. Yeah, thanks for telling me the obvious, Nick. I kind of already knew that. Anyway, so Booker's already gone to um, the bridge. But you know what I'm going to do? Before I head back there, I'm just going to have a quick look and see if there's any quests around here. Otherwise, if not, then uh, we'll probably see if we can find uh, Booker at the bridge. So uh, let's see what's going on. <laughs>